And uh, today we'll actually be talking about one of the most interesting specialties, uh, something that's very popular with people, which is enriched air and how that can be useful for you in extending your bottom time. Quick reminder, so far things are a little bit uh, unclear. I'm sure all of you as divers, just like me, can't wait to go back out to sea. For now, in the meantime, now is the time to stay safe, stay positive. <clears throat> um, keep up the good spirit um, until things become clear. How, how are you guys spending your time? How are you trying to stay positive? Are you exercising at all? A lot of people are exercising these days. What are you guys doing? I'm assuming I'm Derek that. eating, of course, unfortunately. <laughs> puzzles. I got a big uh, number of puzzles. Cooking, yes, lots of eating. No exercise. Ah, Derek, of course, running, spinning, yep. Yeah. Becky walking uh, your dog, which I sometimes do with you. I personally, whenever I get the chance, I try to just go for a walk outside when the weather is, is good, uh, just for a change of uh, scenery. Um, Last week on my walk, uh, work was actually running a little bit longer than expected. Went out for the walk only to realize a few minutes in that the curfew was about to start. Uh, so I had to watch my time and rush back home before the curfew fell in. Uh, while it was actually a very nice night. Which is something that I'm sure you as, as divers are probably familiar with. Um, something that we've all experienced. Uh, with bottom time uh, and the limitation that we have there. I, I remember before I went pro uh, with a group of friends, there was a very specific dive in, in south of uh, the Red Sea at Marsa Alam, beautiful drift dive. And at the end, a very nice series of pinnacles at around 27, 29 meters depth. Of course, by the time we got there, we only had a couple of minutes left on our bottom time before we had to start ascending. Um, which kind of ruined it for us. Um, I'm sure you've all faced it as well. Have you guys faced any, any of these situations before when you'd be on a dive and, and then your bottom time would, would force you to actually start ending it? Yep, Misha, I'm sure you did. Do you remember the dive site? Yes, absolutely. Canyon, canyons is a, is a deep dive and definitely your bottom time is going to uh, uh, limit you there. This is actually what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about our dive bottom time. Um, how can we extend our bottom time? Uh, how can enriched air in specific benefit us in, in that regard? So that the next time you go on that wreck dive that you've been looking forward to, the next time you go to canyons, the next time you go to um, that coral garden that's a little bit deep and you want to spend your time looking at the details and enjoying all the details of the wreck, of the marine life, you can actually get more time to do that. So a quick overview. Uh, we're going to be talking about nitrox, nitrox or enriched air in general. Uh, I'll give you a quick overview of nitrox as compared to air. The limitations that we're facing uh, what kind of equipment uh, would be, you'd be using with, with nitrox and what you can do next. If throughout the, the, our talk, if you have any questions, just feel free to, to message. I'll be keeping an eye on the chat. Uh, there's also the raise hand feature, but you can straight away write to the chat and we'll take it from there. All right, quick overview. Uh, do we have any nitrox divers here? Any enriched air divers, by the way? Misha, I'm sure Maka is as well. Sara, Sara, I know. I know, yes, sir. <laughs> soon, very soon, yes, sir. <laughs> Almost, yes. <laughs> um, okay, so just to give an overview for those of you who might not be familiar. Nitrox is uh, air that is enriched with oxygen. 
has um, more oxygen, and that is the, the gas blend that we use when we're diving. When we say when we're diving nitrox, we're diving enriched air or enriched air nitrox. Now, what is wrong with air? Nothing. Nothing is actually wrong with air. Technically, there's nothing wrong with air. You can go diving with, with air. Some of you have, are already certified divers and you've been diving uh, since your open water course uh, without nitrox and you've been enjoying diving. It's beautiful. However, air does come with some limitations. And I think um, we'll, we're, we're all quite familiar with these, with these limitations. We've experienced them, we've, we've learned about them um, in our open water course. What is the biggest air limitation, guys, when we're talking okay. You're all certified divers, you should know this. Your no decompression limit. No decompression limit is, um, is a phenomenon that we face as divers uh, that is caused by breathing uh, the compressed nitrogen. Um, and that is what limits our bottom time. Uh, now, the idea is, if the problem is with nitrogen, is there anything that we can do uh, about that? If nitrogen is causing the problem, yeah, nitrogen, why nitrox, air is increased, uh, sorry, oxygen is increased in nitrox, and therefore that degrees, decreases the amount of nitrogen that you're actually breathing. Uh, uh, so what we're doing here is we're changing the gas composition so that we avoid uh, the side effect of breathing from nitrogen. Absolutely, yes. When we breathe less nitrogen, what do you guys think? What happens when we breathe less nitrogen? Our bodies will absorb nitrogen a lot slower. And since we're absorbing the nitrogen a lot slower, our limits, our bottom time limitation is actually extended quite a lot. And if you take a look here at just an example, um, at even 18 meters depth, your no limit, your no limit can rise almost one and a half or more than double that time. And as you go a little bit deeper, 22 meters, uh, you can almost as well around double uh, the amount of time you can spend on that depth. Uh, in in doing so, what happens is instead of being limited on a no longer experience that limit, I remember the first time um, I went to Thistleborn, which is a, a beautiful World War II wreck uh, we have in the north of the Red Sea. Um, before before I, uh, I got certified nitrox, I went diving there a couple of times with air. And then I remember the first time I went diving with nitrox. And for me, it was just a completely different dive. There were parts of the wreck that I did not have time to explore. Uh, I got to dive with the nitrox group uh, that spends more time exploring the wreck. Um, so I ended up actually seeing so much more, so much more detail, so much uh, newer parts of, of, of the wreck that I didn't know existed, um, which, which is great, which is what we're looking for. We're looking to enjoy uh, uh, our dives and look at all the details and spend more time doing what we love. Well, that's great. If, um, if decreasing the nitrogen solves it, then why don't we just remove all the nitrogen and, and dive with pure oxygen? Any ideas on, on why we cannot do that? Yeah. 
exactly. Oxygen as well comes with its own limitations. So the limitation of oxygen is very different than when it comes to nitrox. Um, the limitation is in the depth that you can go to uh, to avoid uh, what is known as oxygen toxicity. Uh, but that is something that we will uh, explain a little bit more on, on how to also avoid the limitation. Because the question here is, what's the point of taking off one limitation if we're going to replace it with another? Well, it's not the exact same limitation. And the limitations here are a bit different. Oxygen, there's a limitation for the depth, but nitrogen, the limitation is for how much time you can spend. So it's a balancing act. How much oxygen and nitrogen do you use? More, less of which, depending on what kind of dive you want to do. What you're aiming to do here is to use the benefit of using oxygen in extending your time while still having enough nitrogen to, to to reach the depth that you want. So what we do is, according to our dive, according to our plan, that is how we plan uh, the actual blend that we're going to dive with. Uh, I'm sure most of you will probably know this, this dive site. Does anyone know what this dive site is? No clue? Well, this is the SS Thistlegorm that I was just talking about. This is the, the, the bow, and you can see uh, Yusuf enjoying his time here. Uh, uh, right by the uh, anti-aircraft guns. It's an absolutely beautiful wreck that starts at around 60 meters, going down to 30 meters. Um, it's, it's really one of the best trek dives you'd ever go on in, in the whole world. So that is exactly what you're aiming for. You're aiming for a dive that has some depth to it, ideally between, say, 18 to 30 meters, um, and you, where you actually want to spend most of your dive on that depth. So it's not like it's a multi-level dive where you can ascend up the, the, by the reefs up to five or 10 meters and spend your time. No, it's one of the dives where you want to spend most of your dive time at a bit of depth. And these are the ideal sites. Do you have any other sites in mind that you think might be useful for you in, in, in using uh, nitrox? Some of them, Salem Express, absolutely, definitely. Thailand, yes. And actually, South Africa as well, the Ariwal Shoal. Uh, one of our favorite uh, trips, um, where again, most of the dive happens at depth, um, and that's where you want to spend most of your time. So again, it's, it, it's all about choosing the perfect dive uh, uh, that works for you when it comes to, to using nitrox. Uh, does that mean that nitrox will be useful for you on every single dive? No, maybe not. Mm. Shallow dives, if you're going just on a single dive, not much. However, it gives you another benefit that you can go on several dives with shorter surface intervals. You don't have to spend too much time between dives. You can actually uh, go on that trip where you can dive four or five times a day. So it's not just about a specific dive site within a certain depth, but it's also less surface interval, more dives uh, per day. Uh, which means that that diving trip that you've been planning, you can get more out of. Um, and honestly, let's face it, not everyone gets to travel too often for, for diving on, on long diving trips. So having that under your belt is definitely something that, that can add uh, a lot to your trip. Um, moving... On to safety wise, is it safe to dive with nitrox? Absolutely. Um, just like diving with uh, air, we had to get our certifications, uh, do our open water courses to understand 
the safety measures. It's the same exact thing. Um, with nitrox, the, the limits are there. You, you study them, you know them, you know how to abide by them. And as long as you're diving within the limits, it's actually super safe. And in the meantime, you reap benefits. There are a lot, like we mentioned, a lot of, of benefits uh, that people can use, out of, can, can benefit out of using nitrox. A lot of divers actually um, say they feel refreshed in diving with nitrox compared to uh, uh, air. Um, what about you guys? Do, do you, not everyone has that, but a lot of people actually say that they don't feel any kind of headache or anything like that. Any, any of our nitrox divers here, our enriched air divers here, uh, Misha you, uh, and Maka, you guys, when you go diving with nitrox, do you feel a difference? Absolutely, Dalesh, I agree. Especially if you're going for like a whole week uh, of diving, repetitive diving, three or four dives a day on a, for a whole week, I definitely feel more refreshed when, when, when diving with nitrox. It feels better, it actually feels a little bit cooler. Um, and you feel a lot, a lot more refreshed. Um, that, that's been my, my personal experience, especially on long trips. I, I absolutely agree. Moving on to equipment. Equipment can sometimes be uh, a problem when you're going to something new and you feel that you need to buy equipment, but I've already, already bought my equipment. Uh, I already invested quite a bit in them. Do I need to buy more? Do I need to pay more money into that? The good news is with, with Nitrox, in most cases, you don't. Um, Maka, I enjoy much more my dives. Yes, I absolutely agree, definitely. I, I get to spend, spend a lot more time with doing uh, what I love, absolutely. Um, back, back into equipment, um, the good news is that most equipment right now can work with nitrox going up to 40%. And 40% is our limit, 40% of, of oxygen. Um, is our limit uh, when it comes to diving with, with nitrox. Um, I'm not sure, depends on how old you are. <laughs> because uh, I think it was your birthday, you turned 30, was it? And uh, definitely, uh, and I think last year, uh, uh, on, on several trips, we've been using nitrox a lot more. And I think, Ahmed Mamdouh um, and myself and the team have definitely felt a lot better, a lot more comfortable using nitrox for a whole week. Um, you can go between air and nitrox uh, on a diving trip. Um, I'll actually explain right now how, how the equipment can help you with that. Um, the good news is with equipment, you don't, in most cases, you won't need to buy new equipment. Equipment comes, you would need to check with the manufacturer. <clears throat> um, you have a theory that makes you young. <laughs> I, 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 I agree. <clears throat> I agree, Maka. You, you do look younger when you dive with nitrox. Uh, when you're diving with, with, with nitrox, most equipment um, is already um, fitted to work with nitrox up to 40%. More than 40% is no longer recreational diving and requires specific equipment. Uh, check with your manufacturer just to make sure that your equipment is fitted uh, for diving with, with enriched air up to 40%. But right now, I would say most equipment is being manufactured to that standard. Um, nitrox is becoming so widespread that that is the case. The two most important in the equipment that you have, two, two most important pieces are your computers, which now almost all computers come with nitrox mode. Very, very few computers do not come with a nitrox mode. And that actually answers your question, Derek, because when you go on a dive, you set your computer to nitrox, you set computer to the blend that you're using, and it will calculate everything for you. Before every dive, if you're switching from nitrox to air and so on, uh, um, you just need to adjust your computer accordingly 
and um, and that is regulators also need need to make sure with your manufacturer that uh, they are up to standard. Um, although there's one last piece of equipment here, not it, it wouldn't be considered your diving equipment. Uh, as guess by looking at the, the, the photo, what the lady is doing. Oxygen analyzer. Uh, you can, if you look at the lady on the right, you will see that she is analyzing how much oxygen there is in the tank uh, that she's going to be using. Uh, Um, in order to be ready to die with nitrox. I absolutely agree, Macam. I absolutely agree. Diving does make you younger. And that is what we should be telling people. What is next? All right. actually die with nitrox. To do that, you need to get certified. What does the certification teaches you? Teach nitrox. Uh, more details on um, the limitations, how to calculate them, how to plan your dive. More details on the risks, how to avoid them, cases of emergency, how to use uh, uh, your dive computer in, in nitrox mode, how to use the analyzer, uh, the regulations when it comes to, to nitrox, different regulations around the world. So there's a lot uh, uh, that you can learn from that course. And the good news is the course is actually available online. Currently, um, in, in its attempt to uh, encourage people to stay positive and, and get as much done as they can, Paddy is offering a 25% discount on all uh, online courses. Uh, till the end of April. It might be extended, I'm not sure, uh, but I know that it's till the end of April, uh, which means that uh, if you enroll within the next few days, you can get a discount on the course. The course can be done online. All the material, your exam can be done online. Everything can be done online. Um, we will be conducting a session uh, between you and the instructor, uh, questions and answers and all that. And then once the restrictions are lifted, there's a very minor, small part of actually training you on using uh, the analyzer, um, uh, an actual practical application, um, so that you get used to that, and optionally going on nitrox dives, uh, which is quite a lot of fun. Something that I definitely recommend. Um, Yes, yes, I cannot wait, absolutely. That's actually a very good question, Yamotas. Yamotas is asking if nitrox is better and gives me more bottom time. Why do I need uh, to dive with air tanks after being nitrox certified? Like we said, nitrox has also some of its limitations, uh, um, specifically with depth. There are some dives where you, you need to go a little bit deeper than, uh, than the limits of nitrox, uh, depending on, on your blend. And therefore, in that case, you would probably opt for air. I'm sure some of you already know some of those dives uh, where we sometimes, as much as we would love to spend uh, more bottom time with those beautiful animals, uh, but sometimes the depth is a little bit deeper. Um, uh, than would be allowed with, with a typical nitrox blend. And in that case, opting for air would be uh, the logical answer. So again, air is not bad in itself, um, but it has its limitations. And on the other hand, nitrox gives you more benefits with some limitations, but also it's, a, it's, it's the balancing act. Any, is there any disadvantage for nitrox? Um, I would say 
with the exception of the depth limit, it is very, very, very unlikely that you will encounter any disadvantage for nitrox. People who use uh, nitrox for a very, very extended period of time, especially with very high uh, blends of nitrogen, very high uh, percentages of oxygen, uh, like commercial divers and, and so on, are susceptible to um, uh, something called the lung burn, um, which is a, a condition that can happen with extended, extended periods of high exposure to, to high oxygen concentrations. But that is very unlikely in the case of recreational diving. Does it help with bad air consumption? Unfortunately, it does not. Uh, it will not make a difference when it comes to air consumption. Um, so it, air consumption is something that you can work on through experience, through uh, perfecting your buoyancy, um, through even exercise. I've personally, and, and actually, if you guys have uh, done anything specific that you found that has improved the air consumption, go ahead and let us know. Um, for me, exercise definitely improved my air consumption and, and experience. Um, Maca, I absolutely agree. Safaris, nitrox is perfect. If you're going to spend a week out at sea, definitely diving with nitrox would be the way to go. Moataz has to answer your question, what is the depth limit for nitrox? It would depend on how much oxygen there is. Um, in the course, uh, you're actually taught how to calculate it. So the higher the oxygen, uh, um, the less deep you're allowed to go. Uh, so it depends on the blend that you're using, um, uh, which means if you want to go for a deeper dive, you use a low oxygen percentage. If you want to go uh, for a relatively shallow dive, uh, then you can go with a higher oxygen percentage. So it, it really comes down to uh, your dive profile and you adjust the, bl the blend accordingly. Yoga, that's very interesting actually. I've, I've heard, yes, yoga is, is definitely one of the things that, that can help. I don't have much experience in that, unfortunately. Uh, but yes, definitely yoga is one of the exercises that I've heard um, um, help a lot with, with air consumption. So again, the course is available online. Um, right now is a great time to do it. We're spending most of our time at home. So these online courses are great additions that we can actually do right now, increase our repertoire, uh, prepare for going out to sea as soon as uh, the restrictions are lifted. Um, and, and yes, uh, uh, definitely it's, it's something that will help you enjoy uh, different dive profiles, experience them in a completely different way. If you want more information uh, on, on the course, a um, couple of questions coming in. There are many breathing exercises you can practice on that. Absolutely, I agree. Um, uh, Maka, yes, uh, there are a lot of breathing exercises that you can do. Does it taste differently? I don't think it tastes differently, you know. Um, what, what do you guys think? Did you ever feel that it tasted differently for those of you who tried nitrox? I, I sometimes feel it's a little bit cooler. The air is a little bit cooler, uh, but I, I doesn't taste any different at all. It tastes exactly the same. That's, that's the beauty of this, of this uh, um, course actually is that in terms of diving, there isn't much change. It's just knowing how to plan your dive with that but it feels very normal, it feels very refreshing, and it gives you that added benefit of longer dives and less surfs and turbulence and feeling refreshed and all that. Um, uh, so you will find my contacts right here. Uh, aftertaste. <laughs> No, I haven't had any experience with, with aftertaste, uh, uh, yeah, Mr. Shork. No, I haven't. Um, feeling uh, nothing but refreshed. Um, you'll find on this slide, you'll find my, my, my contact um, information, email address, and, and phone number. Um, 
And you can always contact us on social media for Deco Divers. Uh, if you want more information on the course, we actually have uh, a round of the course coming up soon. Um, uh, so let us know and we can actually help you out with, with the timing, with the scheduling of the course, and we can get that done. Quick question though. Uh, 